If you want to be number one, you got to realize that. But, uh, realize that. But, uh, but, 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 uh, you got to be a toilet cleaner. you got to be a holy man. you got to be a nurse. you got to be a children's entertainer. Welcome. Welcome to a new beginning. For this tape will serve you as a new beginning. That's right. A new beginning. As we're about ready to begin. On this recording, Music specifically created for its pleasurable effects upon your mind, body, and emotions is mixed with a warm orange colored liquid. Your body is now a glass container. You can smell the orange colored liquid. For the deeper you go, the deeper you go. And if there's extra saliva there, swallow it and take yourself down deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. I will be your guide in this 
journey, and I hope to be of help without intruding any more than is absolutely necessary. You may just possibly detect from my voice that I am Irish, and now I leap forward in time. think you presently are. Thank you. It's far out. It's far out. All that you read, all that you see, all that you hear, filling up your head, orange-colored liquid. It is nice to relax, isn't it? Put the key in the lock, unlock the door, and a fountain of ears is available. If possible, in our modern world, Listen for your eyes, in your ears. We will continue this pattern until we have reached the infinite everything. Now put on some undergarments and go deeper, deeper, and deeper. But the moment they get out in the fresh air, the moment they set foot outside, they find out that the monkey on the mind is still there, and so they call it a mind habit. There's two parts to this problem. The physical can be kicked quickly, but they claim the mind habit stays for life. This is a revelation to me. It should be a revelation to you that the greatest problems of our nature is not that which is physical, but that which is in the mind. And I want to talk about your mind tonight. I want to talk about those thoughts who, like little animals, little monkeys, as this parable illustrates, begin to grow on us until they overwhelm us. Every sin, every sin, every, every habit, habit, every crime, every, 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 every sex act begins in the mind and it starts as a simple little thought. Simple little thought. You can't stop those evil thoughts sometimes to come rushing by because of the things that happen to us in life. But it is another thing, and if you don't play with it, if you don't toy with it, it will leave you alone, it won't go on board, it won't latch itself to your mind. But if you feed it, if you toy with it, if you play with it, that little monkey, that little thought is going to grow until finally obsesses you, until it drives you, until you are totally preoccupied with it, whether it be sex, whether it be any of these things I mentioned, it will control your very life. It will drive you to act out your thoughts. But you cannot find freedom. You cannot find release if you've got a monkey on your mind. Driving out of every other thought. Driving out that which is decent and pure and free. Then I look at their eyes. I look in their eyes and I know they're not there for exercise. I know why they're on the dead floor. I know what is happening in the heart of the mind. I've seen it a thousand times. No matter how you justify it, no matter how you try to set yourself free from it, there's only one reason you stand there gazing with me in 
in your heart because you have it in your mind. There's a monkey on it. A monkey on the mind. A monkey on the mind. On the mind. Come on.